trained psychologist and a staunch advocate for data-driven decision-making in HR, I've always been fascinated by the intersection of human behavior and analytics. Psychological theories consistently support the notion that relying solely on intuition or habitual practices in HR can lead to suboptimal outcomes. Today, let's delve into how data-informed approach can transcend these limitations with real-world examples from the realm of people analytics. Heuristics often lead HR to make assumptions based on observed patterns, such as believing that longer tenured employees are inherently more productive. However, when we dive into the data, we might discover that newer employees having undergone recent training programs may actually be outperforming their more experienced peers. Through regular analysis of performance data, we can track and respond to the real-time trends in employee efficiency, not just our presumptions. Loss aversion is another psychological principle where companies might resist implementing necessary operational changes due to fear of turnover. Yet, when we scrutinize retention data, we might find that employees are leaving precisely because of the absence of innovation and change. Analyzing exit interviews with a data-driven approach can reveal the actual factors contributing to employee turnover. Confirmation bias can lead an HR team to believe that a training program is successful based on positive feedback from a handful of vocal employees. In contrast, a data-backed comprehensive assessment may indicate critical areas for improvement. Utilizing post-training assessments and performance metrics can provide a more accurate evaluation of a program's effectiveness. The availability heuristic refers to overestimating the significance of information that's readily available or recently encountered. For example, HR may believe remote working is ineffective based on a few complaints, but an in-depth productivity analysis across various departments can paint a more accurate picture of remote work's true effectiveness. Anchoring bias can cause HR professionals to rely heavily on the first piece of information they encounter. If an HR professional believes, based on early career exposure, that employee engagement surveys are futile, they might continue to overlook their potential. Modern survey tools with sophisticated analytics can demonstrate how consistent feedback mechanisms actually foster engagement and morale. The endowment effect might lead HR to overvalue legacy systems simply because they are accustomed to them. Benchmarking data can challenge this bias, illustrating how adopting new HRIS systems or meto methodologies can enhance efficiency and better meet the needs of a modern workforce. Groupthink can result in HR adopting strategies because they are industry trends, not necessarily because they are right for their unique company context. Recruitment analytics should be employed to discern which hiring channels and strategies truly work for your organization rather than just following the herd. Proximity bias in hybrid workplaces might lead to on-site employees receiving more opportunities due to their visibility. Through the careful analysis of work output and performance data, managers can make fair evaluations based on actual work quality, efficiency, and impact, rather than physical presence. Digital collaboration tools can track and recognize the contributions of remote workers effectively. In today's era, where AI and big data are revolutionizing every industry, Integrating people analytics into HR decisions doesn't take away from the human aspect, it enriches it. Data-driven insights ensure our HR strategies are not only empathetic, but also effective, aligning with the true needs and aspirations of our workforce. Together, let's harness the power of analytics to enhance our humanity within the workplace. Let's analyze to humanize and in doing so, create HR strategies that are as compassionate as they are effective. Join us in this journey of transformation.